Welcome back to our channel. Today we're delving into a hot topic that's been making waves across social media and the entertainment world. Kristen Bell and Dax Shepard, one of Hollywood's favorite couples, are facing criticism for a parenting decision they made during a recent family vacation abroad. While some are calling their actions irresponsible, others are defending the couple's approach, citing cultural differences and safety standards. In this video, we'll break down exactly what happened, the controversy that followed, and how Bell and Shepard's parenting style has sparked a heated debate online. Kristen Bell and Dax Shepard are well known for their candid approach to life and their willingness to share personal insights about their marriage, family dynamics, and the unique way they parent their two daughters. The Hollywood couple has often endeared themselves to fans by being refreshingly open and honest, but their latest revelation has ignited a firestorm of mixed reactions online. During a recent appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live, Bell opened up about a family vacation to Denmark where she and Shepard made a bold parenting decision that some viewers found shocking. The couple, known for their relaxed and often humorous approach to parenting, allowed their two daughters, Lincoln and Delta, an unprecedented level of freedom while abroad. This decision, while seen by some as a reflection of the safety and cultural norms of Denmark, was met with harsh criticism from others, who called it irresponsible and even dangerous. In the interview, which aired on September 20th, 2024, Bell shared the humorous and relatable struggles of vacationing with young children. With her trademark wit, she lightheartedly described the challenges of being on a family vacation, jokingly pointing out that when parents travel with kids, it's rarely the relaxing experience one might hope for. She asked Kimmel, but don't you find that going on vacation as a parent isn't really a vacation? You're just babysitting in a different city. To which Kimmel, a father himself, enthusiastically agreed, responding, it's awful. It's worse than being at home. The pair shared a laugh as they commiserated over the universal struggles of parenting while traveling, with Belle further explaining that her daughters often bombard her with even more questions than usual when they're on the road. This humorous banter set the stage for Belle's next revelation, a parenting decision that would later stir up significant controversy. Belle went on to describe a particular choice she and Shepard made during their stay at a hotel in Copenhagen, Denmark. The hotel they were staying at was situated next to Tivoli Gardens, a famous seven-acre amusement park, which quickly became a focal point of their family vacation. Instead of spending the day closely following their daughters around the park, Belle explained that she and Shepard decided to experiment with a more relaxed parenting style, one that involved allowing their daughters to explore the park on their own, unsupervised, for several hours. Belle detailed their thought process, explaining that she and Shepard embraced what she referred to as free-range parenting, a method that allows children more independence and freedom to explore their surroundings. She said, we thought, should we embrace the free-range parenting style and just roll the dice? We let them wake up early, like around 6 a.m., scan their wristbands and just go off on their own. We didn't see them for seven hours. They were just running around Copenhagen. Kimmel's reaction to this revelation was immediate, with his eyebrows shooting up in surprise. He leaned forward and exclaimed, Oh, really? His visible shock seemed to mirror what many viewers at home were likely thinking as they heard Bell recount the story. The audience laughed at the interaction, but it was clear that the anecdote was raising eyebrows beyond the studio. Bell, ever the comedian, reassured Kimmel that everything worked out fine in the end joking that despite their free-range approach, they're both alive and we all made it back home. While this light-hearted exchange drew laughs from Kimmel and the audience, it was clear that Bell's casual description of the event left many viewers feeling uneasy. As the interview spread online, it quickly became the subject of heated discussions on social media. Some fans and parenting experts alike questioned the safety and wisdom of allowing two young children to roam unsupervised in a foreign country even one as safe as Denmark. Critics voiced their concerns, labeling Bell and Shepard's actions as irresponsible and reckless, arguing that no matter how safe the environment, children as young as Lincoln and Delta should not be left alone for extended periods, especially in a large amusement park. Following the airing of Kristen Bell's interview on Jimmy Kimmel Live, social media platforms like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube 
quickly erupted with intense reactions. Fans and parents alike weighed in on Bell and Dax Shepard's controversial decision to allow their daughters to roam unsupervised in a foreign country during their family vacation. For many viewers, the idea of two young children, Lincoln, age 11, and Delta, age 9, being left to wander an amusement park on their own was shocking, sparking concerns about safety and responsible parenting. Despite Denmark's reputation as one of the safest countries in the world, critics were vocal in expressing their disapproval, branding the couple's parenting decision as irresponsible and potentially dangerous. The comments flooded in from all directions, with users questioning how Bell and Shepard could trust that their young daughters would be safe on their own for seven hours, even in a seemingly secure environment like Copenhagen. Many pointed out that no matter how safe a country or city might be, leaving children unsupervised for such a long period of time is risky. One Twitter user expressed their dismay, writing, I'm sorry, but I just can't get behind this. Everyone has their own approach to parenting, but letting your kids run around unsupervised in a foreign country? No thanks. The sentiment was echoed across various platforms, as another commenter on Facebook bluntly stated, that's completely irresponsible. What if something happened? What if someone had grabbed their daughters? Then what? This is beyond reckless. Be Many users on social media were baffled by the couple's decision, with some parents voicing their disbelief that Bell and Shepard would take such a hands-off approach with children so young. One concerned parent posted on YouTube, nine and 11 are still way too young to be left alone in an amusement park, especially in a foreign country. Anything could have happened. I would never let my kids out of my sight. Another added, even if Denmark is one of the safest countries in the world, I still wouldn't let my kids wander around without supervision. You just never know in today's world. You can't be too careful. As the comments continued to roll in, Many began questioning why Bell and Shepard didn't take more precautionary measures if they wanted some time to themselves during the vacation. Several users suggested that the couple, given their financial means, could have hired a nanny or a babysitter to watch over the children while they enjoyed a break. One YouTube commenter wrote, they make enough money to hire help. Why not just get a nanny to watch the kids? There's no need to let them run around a theme park alone. Another echoed this sentiment, adding, this whole free-range parenting thing might work in certain situations, but not in a foreign country. It's not like they were in a small, familiar town where everyone knows each other. This is Denmark. What were they thinking? As the debate escalated, more users chimed in with concerns about the potential dangers that could have arisen from leaving children unsupervised in such a public space. Fans voiced their fears that the couple's decision could have led to serious consequences. Some pointed out that while Denmark is relatively safe, anything could happen in a large, crowded amusement park where children can easily get lost or fall victim to strangers with bad intentions. A vocal group of parents argued that leaving children alone for seven hours was far too long, especially in a foreign setting where cultural differences and unfamiliar surroundings could pose additional risks. One Twitter user emphasized this point, writing, Denmark may be safe, but kids are still kids. They're not mature enough to handle emergencies or navigate situations on their own. It doesn't matter how safe the country is. At their age, they should have been supervised by an adult, period. Others criticized the couple for potentially sending the wrong message to their children about personal safety. One concerned commenter remarked, what are they teaching their kids by letting them go off on their own like that? That it's okay to be out and about alone for hours without any adult supervision? Not the kind of lesson I'd want my kids learning. The controversy surrounding Bell and Shepard's parenting style intensified as more fans weighed in, debating whether their decision was appropriate given the circumstances. While some defended the couple's approach, many felt that the risks far outweighed the benefits, highlighting that even in the safest countries, unforeseen dangers can still arise. As the conversation continued, it became clear that the decision to leave children unsupervised in a foreign country was a divisive issue with a large portion of social media users firmly standing by the belief that Bell and Shepard's actions could have easily resulted in a dangerous situation. Critics continued to stress that the couple's choice was a major misstep, expressing concern that such a lack of supervision could have led to severe consequences that the couple may not have fully considered. Despite the backlash, however, some fans stepped up to defend the couple, 
pointing to cultural differences and Denmark's strong reputation for safety as reasons why Bell and Shepard might have felt comfortable giving their daughters more independence. Nonetheless, the debate over whether their parenting decision was appropriate or reckless remained a hot topic of discussion on social media, with the couple's actions continuing to stir up strong emotions from fans and critics alike. However, not everyone was quick to condemn Kristen Bell and Dax Shepard for their parenting choices. Amid the backlash, a significant number of fans and social media users stepped forward to defend the couple's decision, arguing that their actions were not only reasonable, but reflective of the cultural norms in Denmark. Supporters pointed out that Denmark is known for being one of the safest countries in the world, where parents regularly allow their children a greater degree of freedom and independence. For many, the decision to let Lincoln and Delta explore Tivoli Gardens unsupervised was in line with Danish parenting practices, which encourage autonomy in children from a young age. One Twitter user weighed in, writing, Denmark is renowned for its safety. Parents here let their kids walk around alone all the time, especially in family-friendly places like Tivoli Gardens. It's completely normal. People in the U.S. might find it shocking, but here it's just a part of our culture. This sentiment was echoed across social media as fans from Denmark and other parts of Europe shared their perspectives on parenting practices that differ from those in the United States. Another Twitter user, who claimed to have lived in Denmark for several years, further elaborated on the cultural differences, stating, People need to understand that Danish culture encourages independence in children. It's a totally different mindset compared to the U.S., where parents are more protective. In Denmark, it's normal for kids to walk or bike to school alone from a young age. There's nothing reckless about what they did. It's just a reflection of the parenting norms here. This comment underscored the fact that what may seem like a risky decision in one country could be seen as perfectly acceptable in another, especially in a place as safe as Denmark. Supporters also highlighted the fact that Tivoli Gardens, the amusement park where Belle and Shepard's daughters spent their time, is not just any amusement park. It's a small, enclosed, and well-monitored space with numerous safety measures in place. Tivoli Gardens is one of the oldest amusement parks in the world known for being a secure environment where families can feel at ease, letting their children roam freely. Several fans argued that, given these circumstances, Bell and Shepard had every reason to feel comfortable allowing their daughters to explore independently. One Instagram commenter, who had visited Tivoli Gardens with their own children, shared their experience, writing, Tivoli Gardens is incredibly safe. It's a small, enclosed park with English-speaking staff everywhere. You can't compare it to an amusement park in the U.S. where things might be more chaotic. In Tivoli, kids are always within easy reach of help, and parents can feel confident knowing their children are well supervised. This perspective was echoed by many who felt that Bell and Shepard's decision made sense given the location. Supporters emphasize that the park's layout, size, and security features all contribute to its reputation as a safe space for children to explore on their own. Additionally, the fact that staff members are fluent in English and trained to handle any issues reassured those who defended the couple's parenting style. Several commenters also pointed out that while Bell and Shepard's approach may seem unorthodox to American audiences, it aligns closely with European parenting philosophies, which often encourage children to develop independence at an earlier age. In Denmark, it's common for children to walk to school by themselves, run errands for their families, or play outside unsupervised, even in urban areas. These cultural differences play a significant role in how parenting decisions are viewed, and many fans argue that Bell and Shepard were simply adapting to the norms of the country they were visiting. One YouTube user highlighted this cultural divide, commenting, in the U.S., we're used to helicopter parenting, where parents are constantly hovering over their kids. But in many European countries, including Denmark, the focus is on fostering independence from a young age. I think Bell and Shepard were just following the local norms, and it's perfectly understandable given how safe Denmark is. Another user echoed this sentiment, stating, What they did might shock Americans, but in Europe, it's common to give kids more freedom. Denmark is one of the safest countries in the world, and Tivoli Gardens is a controlled, secure environment. Their decision to let their kids explore on their own wasn't reckless. It was a reflection of the cultural context they were in. 
Supporters of Bell and Shepard also argued that the couple likely did their research and understood the environment they were in before making their decision. Fans reasoned that the couple, known for being conscientious parents, wouldn't have allowed their daughters such independence without confidence in the safety of the setting. Many applauded the couple for trusting their children and respecting the cultural norms of the country they were visiting. One fan summed up the defense by writing, Kristen and Dax are smart, responsible parents. I'm sure they weighed the risks and benefits before letting their daughters roam the park on their own. Denmark is incredibly safe, and Tivoli Gardens is a secure, family-oriented place. They wouldn't have done this if they didn't feel confident in their kids' safety. In addition to defending Bell and Shepard's decision, some fans pointed out that the debate itself highlighted broader issues of cultural differences in parenting styles. They argued that what may seem reckless or risky in one country could be perfectly acceptable in another, depending on societal norms and the specific context. The conversation around Bell and Shepard's choice, they said, was an opportunity to reflect on how cultural differences shape our views on parenting and safety. Ultimately, while there was considerable criticism aimed at Bell and Shepard, the couple had plenty of defenders who felt that their decision was not only reasonable, but also reflective of the local culture and environment. Supporters maintained that the couple's actions were thoughtful and aligned with the norms of the country they were in, arguing that Bell and Shepard should not be judged by American standards alone. American While Kristen Bell and Dax Shepard may have adopted a more relaxed, hands-off approach to parenting during their family trip to Denmark, they are known for being fiercely protective of their daughter's privacy in other areas of their lives. This commitment to safeguarding their children from the public eye has been a priority for the couple since their daughters, Lincoln and Delta, were born. Bell and Shepard have consistently taken steps to ensure their children's identities are kept private, particularly when it comes to the scrutiny of the media and paparazzi. In a 2020 interview, Kristen Bell candidly discussed the importance of shielding her daughters from the intense media attention that often accompanies celebrity life. She emphasized how crucial it is for her and Shepard to maintain a clear boundary between their public personas and their personal lives, especially when it comes to their children. Bell has been very deliberate in her decision not to share photos of her daughter's faces on social media, despite her sizable online presence and fan following. Unlike many other celebrities who often post pictures of their families, Bell has chosen to draw a firm line to protect her daughter's privacy and autonomy. Bell explained that her and Shepard's decision stems from a deep respect for their daughter's right to privacy. While she and Shepard have chosen careers that place them in the public spotlight, their children did not make that choice. Bell has often reiterated that she and her husband are careful not to impose the pressures of fame on their daughters, preferring instead to allow Lincoln and Delta to grow up outside the glare of the media, free to make their own choices about public exposure when they are older. In Bell's own words, she stated, I chose to be in the public eye. I chose to have my life photographed. My kids didn't choose that. I don't know if they'll want to be in the spotlight when they're older, so I have to respect their privacy and let them make that choice for themselves. This philosophy reflects Bell and Shepard's overarching goal of empowering their children to make their own decisions about how they want to engage with the world, without the pressure of being constantly in the public eye from a young age. Bell and Shepard's protective stance on their children's privacy extends beyond their personal actions and into advocacy work. In 2013, Bell became a vocal advocate for California's No Kids Policy a law that was passed to prevent paparazzi from taking unauthorized photos of celebrities' children. This legislation was a direct response to the aggressive tactics used by paparazzi to capture images of the children of high-profile individuals, often causing distress for both the parents and the children themselves. Bell, alongside other prominent celebrities such as Jennifer Garner and Halle Berry, campaigned for the law arguing that children should have the right to live their lives free from the constant harassment and intrusion of photographers. For Bell, this wasn't just about privacy. It was about protecting the well-being of children who, through no fault of their own, were being thrust into the spotlight simply because of their parents' careers. The relentless pursuit of paparazzi had become a significant issue, with photographers often staking out schools, playgrounds, and other areas where celebrity children frequented, creating an uncomfortable and sometimes unsafe environment for these families.
Bell has consistently spoken out against the media's exploitation of celebrity children, advocating for stricter regulations to prevent unauthorized photography of minors. Her efforts to push for the no kids policy were not just about her own family, but about ensuring that all children of public figures could have the opportunity to grow up without being targeted by photographers looking for the next tabloid headline. The law marked a significant victory for celebrity parents who had long fought for the protection of their children's privacy. Bell's dedication to this cause illustrates the lengths to which she and Shepard are willing to go to safeguard their daughter's well-being. While they may embrace a more relaxed parenting style when it comes to fostering independence and freedom in safe environments like Denmark, they take privacy very seriously. For Bell and Shepard, protecting their children from the intrusive nature of celebrity culture is a priority, and they are committed to giving their daughters as normal a childhood as possible, away from the constant glare of the cameras. By championing privacy and advocating for legislative change, Bell and Shepard are not only setting an example for other parents in the entertainment industry, but they are also making a broader statement about the rights of children in general. Their approach reflects a deep understanding that, although they chose lives in the spotlight, their children should have the opportunity to decide for themselves if and when they want to step into the public eye. In this way, Bell and Shepard's approach to parenting balances openness and freedom with careful protection of their children's autonomy. They are demonstrating that while they are comfortable allowing their daughters to explore the world and learn independence, they are equally committed to ensuring that their children's personal boundaries are respected, both by themselves and by the media. It's a dual approach that highlights the couple's thoughtful and intentional parenting style, one that blends modern values with a strong sense of responsibility for their children's future. Beyond privacy and safety concerns, Kristen Bell and Dax Shepard are also committed to modeling healthy emotional behavior for their daughters. The couple has been open about how they resolve conflicts in front of their children, believing that transparency is key to teaching important life lessons. In a recent interview, Bell revealed that she and Shepard make a point to apologize and make up in front of their children after any disagreements. We always resolve our conflicts where they can see it, Bell explained. We don't hide behind closed doors, we apologize, talk things out, and show them how to handle conflict in a healthy way. Shepard added that this approach was something they learned through couples therapy and emphasized the importance of showing their daughters what healthy relationships look like. Bell and Shepard's holistic approach to parenting extends to health and nutrition as well. Recently, Bell teamed up with former First Lady Michelle Obama and PLEZ Nutrition to promote healthier eating habits for children. Bell spoke about how PLEZO's healthier alternatives to sugary drinks have become a staple in their household, helping her manage the sugar battle with her daughters. So, what do you think about Kristen Bell and Dax Shepard's approach to parenting? Was their decision to let their kids roam free in Denmark too relaxed, or is it just a reflection of cultural differences? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss any updates on your favorite celebrities. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video.